Welcome to the Stroll and Sketch Tour. Get your activity sheets and pencils ready. We begin our journey here in Oldgate Square, a new public space in Oldgate, the historic eastern entrance in the city. To our left is Oldgate Primary School, and to our right is St. Botolph's Church, which is over 300 years old. After passing the colourful Dutch light by Jill Bradley, which is the first of our sculptures, we move on to Duke's Place. In the distance, we can make out Heron Tower, as well as 70 St. Mary Axe, nicknamed the Can of Ham. The buildings tower all around us and you can almost imagine how small we are in this space. But even though we are surrounded by modern buildings, we can still find unique places like Britain's old Jewish place of worship, Bevis Mark Synagogue, through the gateway on our left. As we turn into Berry Place, you can make out the scalpel skyscraper in the distance. And then through a narrow tunnel, we end up in Berry Courts next to the Gherkin, a small courtyard about the size of a classroom. For the first exercise, we stand at the bottom of the Gherkin where the top seems to have disappeared and the shape has changed. Your task is to draw an outline of the shape of the Gherkin without taking your pencil off the paper. You will have 30 seconds, so start sketching. You're halfway through. Three, two, one, pencils down. Well done. So now we are walking through Gherkin Plaza and along to Cunard Place. The sculpture you will see in front of us is called The Same For Everyone and is by Nathan Coley. It glows up lighting the space. Through a narrow passage, the atmosphere changes and we step into the light on Leadenhall Street. Here we will have a good view of the scalpel and the cheese grater. Alright, we want you to show us what you have learned about leading lines. In 50 seconds, draw the longest lines you see in the image. If you're extra observant, you will see how they all lead to one point. Start sketching. If you finish early, you can try drawing in the shapes of the buildings on top of the lines you already drew. You're halfway. Three, two, one, pencils down. Now, as we travel down Leadenhall Street, in the distance on the left, we can see the Lloyds Building, which is also known as the Inside Out Building, and to its right is a glimpse of the cheese grater. After crossing the road, we will then turn onto Lime Street. The reason this and other streets are so narrow is because after the Great Fire of London in 1666, businesses wanted to rebuild as quickly as possible. What makes the city of London so unique, however, is the narrow streets coupled with large stone buildings as well as metal and glass skyscrapers. Following the curve of the street, we will arrive at our next stop, and for this drawing we will turn and look up you will notice that the surrounding towers, including the scalpel, create an interesting skyline from here. In one minute and a half, we will want you to draw the funny shape of the sky in the photo made by the outline of the buildings. Start sketching. And if you finish early, and you have colours, colour in the sky however you like.
you're halfway through. Um, three, two, one, pencils down. Great. So, turning to our right, you will see the sculpture Series Industrial Windows by Marissa Ferreira, which plays with shape and colors. Behind it, we see Bolton House, a rare example of Art Nouveau from 1907 in the city of London. The bright colours and tiles are especially unique in this area. And for the next drawing, we want you to show us your use of the squinting eye technique. When you squint your eyes, notice how the windows and doors stand out. In the same way, squint your eyes and shade in the shapes that stand out to you in the positions you see them. You have a minute and a half. Begin. You're halfway through. Three, two, one, pencils down. After continuing along Lime Street, we will turn right to approach one of the entrances of Leadenhall Market. Can you guess the popular film where you might have seen this before? I will reveal the answer shortly. There has been a market here for over 600 years, but the one we are walking through is Victorian and just over 100 years old. It is now filled with small shops, restaurants, cafes and pubs. And if you recognize the film, it is in fact Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Well done if you guessed correctly. At the next stop, we will be in what was once the center of Roman London. At stop 5, you can imagine lying down on the floor and looking up at the ceiling at the center of the market. Here, have fun and draw as much detail as you like in 2 minutes. Begin. The trick is to start by looking for and drawing the basic shapes like the octagon and then filling it in. You're halfway through.
The dome here is painted to look like the night sky. Did you notice the stars? Three, two, one, pencils down. Now we leave the market and walk along Whittington Avenue onto Leadenhall Street. Down the street is the cheese grater, our next stop. But first we pass the old front of the previous Lloyd's building, very different to the inside out building we see today. The next drawing is about looking for shapes, just like those big triangular supports. So in two minutes, draw these shapes where you see them. Start sketching. Here is a hint. Inside the middle triangular support is a square made by two pillars. Inside the pillars is a rectangle made by the escalators. And inside the escalators is the square tunnel at the bottom. You're halfway through. And if you have time, turn the shapes into actual objects by drawing the details of the triangular support, the escalator, and the other shapes. Three, two, one, pencils down. Well done, everyone. On to the last stop of our tour, we will make our way under the cheese grater, through the tunnel, and into an area called the undershaft. Turning around, we have St. Helen's Tower on our left, which was once the tallest building in London when it was built just 50 years ago. Between it and the cheese grater, we get a frame view of the scalpel and a reflection of the gherkin. We we'll want you to draw the view framed by these buildings in three minutes. You should turn your activity sheet around to make it portrait. To make our frame, start by drawing two lines close together, from the top of your box right down to the bottom. Inside the two lines you just drew, fill in the middle bit of the photo, starting now. Pretend that on the left of these lines is St. Helen's Tower, and on the right is the cheese grater, just like in the photo. The middle, which is the view of the scalpel and the reflection of the gherkin, is what you will be drawing inside those lines.
you're halfway through. Three, two, one, pencils down. Thank you everyone for joining us on our tour of this part of the City of London. You did really well and you're all now thinking like artists.